Hello guys and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. I've seen this game on Steam and it looked interesting to me and since I love space and I find it really interesting and filled with mysteries that I would like to discover I thought hey I must have this game so there I have universe sandbox 2 this is just some casual gameplay and I would like to test it I want to see the universe I want to see what would happen if an asteroid hits earth I want to know what happens when two uh, galaxies collide we will see all these things and if you have anything in mind guys that you want me to test just leave a comment and I will do so but first let's start by seeing how two galaxies collide there's already an existing galaxy collision um, template we can watch so I don't have to build it you have the possibility to build it guys look at all these are stars everything you see here are stars that's what a galaxy is made of a shit ton of stars <sighs> the attraction between the two galaxies makes this happen and uh, the, all the stars are um, interacting with each other the gravity of one attracts the gravity of another of another uh, of another galaxy of another sorry of another of another star with a lower mass but what you see here guys it's a lot of imagine each star has its own planet I, I'm not sure if all the stars have planets but pretty much all the stars have planets around them like earth or like uh, our solar system like our star which is the Sun so Sun is a star the Sun is a star and uh, it has around nine planets so imagine that on one of the, those nine planets there is life on earth and now imagine billions of stars which have at least let's say at least one planet so there are billion of possibilities that there is life on another planet as well but guys keep in mind that the distance uh, between between um, stars is of light years you cannot just go and in a few days get there that might be the reason we never found um, life extraterrestrial life just because they're too far and we cannot reach them but this is what happens guys it's a total chaos it's chaos right now earth would be destroyed trust me a lot of uh, stars collided in this process do you see how the the, the chaotic the movement is all these little dots are stars it's chaotic and this happens how many years per second okay uh, one second equals several years uh, I mean one year one second equal one year <sighs> we can increase the speed 1 M year, let's go to 1 G year. I have no idea what this is. But I love it. And expect more videos with it, guys. Now, do you see the yellow, the blue, the red colors? Do you see them? You may wonder why. Well, there are different, uh, there are stars in this universe which have different colors 
which signify the life um, time and also the mass of the stars there are blue pla there are blue stars there are yellow stars <coughs> And uh, each type of stars uh, has different dimension, different size, different mass. There are so many bigger stars than the, you see how a uh, small Pluto is. I mean the moon. Let's go with the moon. The moon is really, 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 really small compared with the sun. Okay, we only see it this big because it's really close to us but the sun is really far away from uh, from earth that's why we see the sun so tiny now have you ever wondered if there are uh, bigger stars than our sun well there are imagine that the moon is the sun and the sun is a different star so uh, I, I forgot the name of that star but there are stars which are bigger thousands of times, hundreds of thousands of times bigger than the sun. Imagine what kind of planets those stars have. Big ass planets. <sighs> nevertheless, nevertheless. This is the galaxy collision. As you can see, the chaos goes on for a shit ton of years. And not normal years. G years. Okay. Let's go to our solar system. And we can... Uh, oh, not G years. Let's go with the years. Wait, it's even faster now. What the hell? Okay, slower. Where is Earth? Do you see it? This is Earth. So, Earth. Mass 1. Yeah, um... Some people say that this is the reason why uh, there is life on Earth. Because the, the mass is just perfect. 1. 1. And that just makes it perfect for, for life to happen here. Okay, let's launch an asteroid here. Okay. On Earth. Let's see what happens if an, an asteroid hits Earth. Power. Force poles, fireworks, material, launch. Launch. Okay. We have to launch something into Earth. I can launch Jupiter. I can even launch a sun into Earth. I can even launch the moon. Let's see what would happen if the moon would hit Earth. But where the hell is the moon here? Because I don't see it. Nevertheless. Do you see the um, trajectory of Pluto, guys? It's not, doesn't look as beautiful as Earth's. Okay. What would you like me to launch? A black hole? We will test that, but first let me, let me launch the moon into the Earth. So this would happen. This would happen. What is Earth now? A giant lava planet. I could have launched something smaller. Let's launch something smaller on... Fra Look, this is a fragment of Earth. After the moon was launched... Okay, I need to slow down. Even like this, it was too fast, so we couldn't clearly see what the hell happened. Okay. Mercury, Venus, Mars. They say Mars is the perfect is the perfect planet for 
colonizing. It's close to us. It's relatively the same size, the temperature not too high nor too little, but still our the temperatures are bad. Let's launch a minor asteroid. Okay. Something 272 kilometers big. Or I can go to random asteroid. But let's go with Sedna. Let's launch it at Mars. Let's see what happens. Okay, Sedna is gonna hit it. That's brilliant. Oh, yeah. So why lava, you may wonder, why there is lava? I have no idea. <laughs> well, I might have an idea. Well, beneath the... Uh, I can't explain this because I know I don't know the English terms for, for those, but beneath Earth there is lava. That's the thing. And when the asteroid hits Earth or any planet, any active planet, by active planet I mean a planet which has which has that core which still burns. Um, so every planet has lava underneath it. Not every planet, sorry. There are some gassy planet. Let's stick to the Earth and Mars. So the lava is um, is beneath the surface where we live and when a volcano erupts is because two plates uh, scratch each other and lava is launched out because of the pressure I, I don't know the term so I, I cannot make a proper explanation but this is what happened with Earth the moon was way much bigger than Sedna Sedna is Wait, I wanted to launch Pallas, but no, no worries. And because the asteroid hit, there are fragments. There are fragments of uh, Mars in space. All right, now um, let's see with that black hole. We need a black hole where? Near Earth. This is Earth. And let's bring a black hole here. Oh, four, four million three hundred suns, the mass of. Okay, the mass of one hundred suns. Because we want the sun to be... Okay. No way. Okay. <laughs> the black hole is really tiny as you can see. Seriously, what the hell happens when the black hole... Okay, let's put this one. Let's put it there. Time stopped. Time stopped. Why? Because of black hole? No idea. But nevertheless, guys, this is it. I will come back with more videos. So thank you a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care of you. Bye-bye.